Good morning, everybody. This is Jeremy Williams representing Garden City Ammonia Program. I'm going to go with another Facebook Live today for the R717 video tip of the day. Uh, we haven't done one in a while, but today is January 11th, 2020. And uh, this training session is going to be brought to you by GCAPTraining.com. And I'm sitting up in our front engine room this week. we got an Ammonia Operator 2 course going on here on site. And uh, getting ready for this weekend, I'm going to start running a boot camp and some classes. Going to be going back to the Missouri and Texas, for some of the traveling teams. Uh, good week for us. Four new instructors coming on this week. Check out GCAP's Facebook page and our main website, gcaptraining.com. And uh, we'll have an announcement of each and every one of them coming online and what their area of experience or expertise or knowledge is. And uh, can't wait for 2021. As we're waiting for a few people to get on here to uh, be part of this training event today, just want to give you a heads up, 2020, we went to 35 different locations across the country, and uh, we had the opportunity to train at local plants right off their equipment with a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. All we need is five. 2021, we're reserving weeks right now, so if that's something you want us to do coming out to y'all's facility, teach right at your facility, right off your equipment, and gain your education, training, and certifications, let us know. As well, uh, starting off with our online division. Man, we couldn't ask for anything better on that. You know, it's expanding and developing daily. Right now, we're working on some of our videos, uh, reenacting and remaking and recreating. Uh, we got 350 people participating in the online division. It's phenomenal. These guys get and ladies get their own book. They get to work at their own pace. And uh, they get a year to complete it. They get as many phone calls as they need, text messages. If they want some study sessions, we have those available as well. So let's talk about what today's training event is. Uh, today's question is, is what's the boiling temperature of water? And as we try to figure that out, what we have to understand is that, at least for myself in a public education system, I was taught since, I don't know, second grade that water boils at what temperature? Most people would shout out 212 degrees. Some people would add, you know, well, at sea level. And um, to be quite honest with you, we have this thing at GCAP is that we can almost get any thermodynamic fluid to boil, or let me just say this, change state at any temperature we almost could imagine. Now each thermodynamic fluid has a unique range, but water's ranges from 42 degrees to let's say it's um, what would we call transcritical, but almost into a beginner's mind. Let's just say the scale keeps on going on top. So what I'd like to try to do today is to show you that water doesn't boil at 212. So what I have rigged up is our vessel here. As you can see right now, it looks like we have a fluid in there. There's a half inch rod to show us depth. We come to the top right here. We have us uh, just a generic ammonia gauge. We're at atmospheric pressure. And then coming off of it, this will be our suction pipe. This plug right here is gonna go ahead and be removed at this point. What I'd like to show is, is that I have just my water here. And this one right here happens to be the Nestle brand. And big out, shout out to all of our Nestle, you know, students and participants and our customer if it wasn't for you guys uh, we couldn't be where we're at today so i'm just going to flip this around so that y'all guys can see me taking a drink it's just some tap water and what i'm going to do is add a little bit of this tap water back into the vessel just so that you can see that what substance was in there looked to be a clear fluid and what substance i happen to be adding right now is this water you probably see it starting to fall down Put about a half a cup in it. I'm gonna put the threads back on this here in a minute and we'll get it screwed in. Next device I'd like to show you is we just got a basic HVAC vacuum pump here in a minute. I'm gonna be connecting its suction line to the suction of the vessel right there. We'll go ahead and get that screwed in and set. And uh, we'll start pulling off of this here in a minute. Now when the vacuum pump turns on, uh, isolation valve is back seated at this point and we have the service gauge just barely tapped and we'll see that that drops in pressure here slightly. So let me set the phone down for a second and uh, reverse this here so that you guys can see uh, us looking at the vessel and all I'm gonna do is basically put this plug back in and uh, we'll try to get this going here. It looks like my phone doesn't like how it's set so maybe I'll try it something like this and see if we can't get this to sit here for just a second. So let me get some uh, tape sitting on this and we'll get this thing screwed in and we'll get back into the live demonstration. So while this is happening, uh, big shout out to the 25 people who completed the online training in 2020. And uh, some of them were able to move quite quickly. Some people finished the whole process in just a few weeks, dedicating each and every night 
And then for all of y'all that uh, received your certifications in 2020, uh, keep it up. Three years if they're good and uh, make sure you keep them renewed. It's easier to uh, renew it than it is to retake the class. So all I'm essentially doing right now is tightening the plug and we'll get that snugged in here so that we can keep a negative pressure inside the tank. So if we look at the basic science of water, pure water under atmospheric conditions and sea level, uh, we know that the water and its substance, it should boil at 212 degrees. Now in Garden City, Kansas, in this room, we actually can get it measured to boil just right off a pot on a stove about 206, 27. We're also close to 3,000 foot of elevation. But what I'm going to try to do is to get this water inside of this tank in this vessel right now, which currently sits roughly 68 degrees, as you can see in here, to boil at a temperature less than that. So as we start pulling on this tank, the vapor pressure is going to drop. When the vapor pressure, let's say, gets to a perfect vacuum, it's going to keep pulling and we may be able to see it start boiling in there. So it's gonna take a few minutes, few seconds for this to take place. But what I just did was turn on the vacuum pump. You can probably hear it, making sure we're not blowing out any oil. We're starting to suck off the vessel. And what we can see right here, what used to be at basically zero PSIG, the gauge is starting to drop. It's gonna start representing roughly 28, 29 inches of mercury. And all we have to do now is sit back and relax and essentially drink our coffee. But what you're starting to see is just a couple bubbles within the steel rod. The steel rod is just giving us the diameter of what would be a thickness measurement when we use this vessel for checking pore points and viscosity points of oil. But look what's happening right there off the surface of the liquid. That water is boiling. And not only is it boiling, it's boiling right now currently 70 and a half degrees. So for all of you that have been taught that water boils at 212, you've been lied to. For all of you that have been taught that ammonia boils at negative 28, you've been lied to. If you're a GCAP person, if you've been here before, we don't care what the substance is. If we want to know the boiling temperature, the condensing temperature, the change of state temperature, the latent heat temperature, the saturated temperature, the answer always is, is it depends on the pressure. And currently right now, water, 29 inches of mercury. We have it again, boiling inside of this vessel, currently at 69 degrees. So that is your R717 video tip of the day. We'd like to thank all of our vendors. We have 29 sponsors still supporting us for 2021. If you get a chance to make it to our host facility here, make sure you request to stay at the one and only R717 Inn. It's only open to GCAP students. You get all kinds of services and benefits from transportation to the airport, hotel, GCAP, breakfast, dinners. Uh, so much is involved. If you haven't yet, check out on our online division and our on-site division. And until we get meet again, I ask all of y'all to keep your mind on what you're doing and keep that chemical inside the pipes. Take care.